Let's use the Glassdoor cities as a seed for our distance calculation. In order to calculate distance of each city from Lexington, Virginia, we first need a list of the cities. If we go to the data option here, click underlying, we can actually just copy down this full list right here. There is a download option, but it gives some illegal characters and this is a little easier to work with anyway. Throw this right into a spreadsheet and we can download directly from Google Sheets as a CSV. Typically when working programmatically, CSVs are just going to be easier to work with. So you always want to optimize ahead of time for that. Let's move over to the environment here. I've already imported a version right into our data file. And you can see we have our column headers up here and we have the scores as well as the city. Now in our distance calculation, we essentially want to iterate over that list and get all the cities and get a distance calculation and then output. So we've got an input, which is our Glassdoor cities. And then we have an output, our distance from Lexington. That's in write mode. The Glassdoor cities are in read mode. So let's take a look at how we can do this. The CSV module, which I've imported, makes this really easy to do. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a reader here. It's going to be csv.reader with the input. And likewise, we're going to create a writer. And you guessed it, it's csv.writer with the output. And with those two files, we can then write values to them and get values from them. So the reader is actually a lot like a list. And so what we can do is we can just iterate over it. And then we can print each row. Let's give you an idea of what that looks like. It's going to print out each of the arrays that it received, including the top item or the headers for the columns. And we can see that the city is index 3, which is why I've created this variable city index right here. So if we just want to print the city, we can do city index. And then we can just get a nice spread of all of our cities and then the word city up here. So let's make this a little more nuanced. We don't really want that header, so I'm going to turn this into a list and I'm going to grab every item past the first index. Uh, this is also known as a tail command in some other languages. That's kind of a Pythonic syntax. And you can see that now we're only getting the cities, starting with Atlanta at the top. And then we also want to throw this in a variable right here. And then we're going to print that. And then we want to do something with the writer. So in the writer's case, we have a method called write row. And this takes something called a tuple. And a tuple is like a list, except it's with parentheses. And you have to end with a comma if we want this to output correctly. So let's run this guy again. And then if we take a look in our distance from Lexington, we've got all those values in the writer. So it's not a far cry to what we have to do next. Let's go back to our original distance code here. Uh, I commented this out just for the moment. So we have our Google Maps client. And if you don't know how to do this, definitely check it out in the last video. And we have our distance here. So let's just take this calculation and put it into context. So the my distance is going to be from Lexington, Virginia to that area. And that's just going to be our city. So that's pretty useful. And then I added one more thing down here in the comment just because I didn't want to go through the weeds with you. So this is the actual kilometers value. It's a, my distance is a dictionary object. So it's my distance at keys, rows, first index, elements, first index, distance, and value. That's going to be your object that actually is your distance. So I'm just going to take that out of there. And we're going to make that the next piece in the tuple after the city. So the writer now has the city and the distance to write out. Let's run this script real quick. It's going to take a little longer because it's calling the Google Maps API which with each one of these calls. But once we have the full output, we're going to have a distance ordering. And we could pull this into Excel or another spreadsheet program and get a pretty quick ranking on the kilometer distance of all these cities from Lexington, Virginia.